Dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, do you like to become a saint? On this solemnity of All Saints Day, take a moment and reflect about it. A few years ago, a Catholic newspaper from Germany has sent its editor to people in the streets with a question. The question he had to ask to everyone was, do you know someone who is little bit saint? Many people did not understand his question correctly. Some thought it is a fun and they said we know only normal people, no saints. And then a woman understood it correctly and she, she said, I think I know someone. She is my neighbor. Her husband has kidney problems and she has to accompany him every week to the hospital. She is so kind, generous, so patient and so friendly to everyone. I think she is a little bit saint. So the, her answer made many others to reflect about it and they could also find a little bit saintly people in their neighborhood, in their families. Very often when we listen to uh, this question, saints, do you know anybody who is a saint? We think about the, the histories of saints that we heard or the histories that we hear every Mass in the, in the beginning, a so small biography of some of the saints, what they did, their heroic life, their virtues. And then we compare and we think, oh, we, we cannot become saints and so on. So it is mostly uh, people who did great things in their ordinary life. Jesus in today's Gospel, Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 to 12, speaks also about who are blessed, who are saints. So let us listen to this Gospel first. When he saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, and they will inherit the land. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be call called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you, when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Sisters and brothers, we just heard in the Gospel that how one can lead a blessed life, how one can become saint, when we stand for great values, when we stand for Jesus, when we do little things with faithfulness, we can become saints. On this Sunday of the Solemnity of All Saints, we are called to reflect, we are called to imitate the saints, the holy men and women of God. 
all the innumerable saints of god are an integral part of our christian faith and the church as well and we know that there are different types of churches saints are in the triumphant church those who have gone ahead of us those who are already reached into god in the blissful state they have won the with the war and they have they are with god and we are the militant church we are in this earth we are still fighting with evil and we we, we need the prayers of the triumphant church and on november 2 we celebrate we commemorate the all souls day and then we need to pray for the souls in purgatory the souls in purgatory they are the suffering church and we form all these churches together form one church one church and we need to pray for one another especially uh, we who are in the militant church pray for the suffering church and the triumphant church prays for us who are in this world there are many reasons to honor saints the saints put their trust in christ and lived heroic lives of faith saint paul asks us to serve and honor such noble souls in his epistles to corinthians he advises christians to welcome serve and honor those who have put their trust in jesus the saints enjoy heavenly bliss as a reward for their faith in jesus hence they deserve our veneration for of them the saints are our role models they teach us by their lives that christ holy life of love mercy and unconditional forgiveness can with the grace of god be lived by ordinary people from all walks of life and at all times we are all being called to be holy like all of those saints as in truth all of us have the potential to be saints we know that just less than a month ago a young teenager a computer expert was uh, beatified he uh, created uh, eucharistic miracles uh, a website to uh, to show the world all these uh, eucharistic miracles and he is now blessed carlo acutis a young boy who died at the age of 15 with leukemia is now in heaven he is also a model for us through his devotion through his piety through the little things that he has done he has also given us a model uh, to to follow jesus and to become saint Dear sisters and brothers we need to accept the challenge to become saints Jesus exhorts us that we should become perfect as our heavenly father is perfect we read that in Matthew chapter 5:48 Saint Augustine asked us also uh, he said if he and she can become saints why can't i if he or she can become saints why can't i we can we all can, can become saints by choosing well by doing good and avoiding evil by choosing to follow christ all the way to heaven in order to become saints we can practice some of the shortcuts practice by some famous saints like saint therese of avila she said recharge your spiritual batteries every day by prayer namely listening to god and talking to him 
Saint Therese of Lisieux. She said, convert every action into prayer by offering it to God for His glory and for the salvation of souls and by doing the best of your ability. Saint Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa, she said, do ordinary things with great love, do something beautiful for God. These kinds of steps can also help us to become saint. Pope Francis in his apostolic exhortation, Gaudate et Exultate, on the call to holiness in today's world, exhorts us to live in holiness in our time. The call to holiness is present in various ways from the very first pages of the Bible. We see it expressed in the uh, Lord's words to Abraham in Genesis chapter 17, 1. Walk before me and be blameless. And this, this is the invitation of God to become like him, to be holy like Yahweh. So this is a challenge for us. The Lord has chosen each one of us to be holy and blameless before him in love. As St. Paul has said in, in his letter to Ephesians chapter 1, 4. And in the gospel or uh, at the end, Jesus tells to us that rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. When we strive to become holy, when we uh, do as he said in the Beatitudes, then finally Jesus will tell each and every one of us, rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. I wish that all of us may be able to become saints through the help of God, through the help, help of the Holy Spirit. And let us pray for that intention in this Sunday. I wish you all a very blessed Sunday.